What is up, everybody? Welcome to Toco Local RC. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, my brand new build of the Techno EB48. Uh, this is actually my first kit that I've ever built. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about it, uh, my experience building it. Also, uh, some of my first impressions on what I think about the buggy so far. Um, this will be a part one of what is to come. Um, basically, I'm just going to be doing an overview of the buggy. Um, as you can see here, this is a not a completed buggy. I also have to add some electronics. Uh, I do have to add the motor, uh, the ESC, servo, um, some wheels, and also not in the frame is the, uh, the wing and the body. Yeah, and shout out to uh, Ift's Tech Corner. Uh, he's on YouTube. He does like a full breakdown of actually building this kit. Um, the guide is actually very helpful um, as well, but he really just took his time, and I just want to give him a shout out. Ift's Tech Corner. Uh, you know, he's on YouTube, and he just, like I said, did a breakdown of each bag, which that greatly uh, helped me out. Um, I also refer to uh, the Tech Technos build as well. Um, but I just definitely wanted to um, highlight that guy. So if you guys plan on getting one of these, uh, definitely check out uh, his video um, just to make it a little bit easier as you're going through the guide uh, to build this kit. So some of the highlighted things uh, of this kit, uh, there are some aluminum parts. Um, uh, however, there is a lot of plastic as well just to keep that, that weight down. Um, the actual chassis is actually built from uh, four millimeter CNC 70, 75 aluminum. Um, yeah, some other highlighted things uh, of the actual actual buggy. Uh, it does have uh, also CNC 7075 shock towers. Um, also the pivot blocks, the motor mount, and the caster block. Those are all aluminum parts. Um, some really beefy uh, shocks. Um, it's 16 millimeter bore fluid uh, filled shocks with CNC pistons and guides. Um, also the rear hub and arm inserts with adjustable roll center and toe. Uh, also, the three easy fill access uh, di differentials. Um, it also has long arm, narrow pivot suspension geometry, and one piece wing, and um, which is not in the frame, uh, which I'll be adding that later. Um, also, as you can see here, there are no electronics. Uh, I will have a part two video of this um, showing all the electronics that I decided to go with. Um, but as you can see here, I mean, I'm I'm just really impressed with the actual build quality of this buggy. I uh, can't wait till I actually get the electronics in here to actually go try it out. Um, you know, Techno just did a really good job at uh, building this buggy. Like I said, this is my first kit um, and it, it was relatively easy. I did take my time. I actually took about two days to complete it. Um, about, I would say each day, I probably spent a total of about five hours. So probably my total time um, like I said, this is my first kit. It probably took me about 10 hours. Um, like I said, I really wanted to take my time and make sure, um, I got everything, um, dialed in and ready for the, uh, electronics. Um, but I'm super impressed with this build. Um, I, you know, if you plan on getting one, I highly recommend it. Uh, I don't think you will be uh, disappointed in the actual quality of the buggy. Uh, you know, I, I only heard good things about this vehicle as well um all my other vehicles are ready to run so like i said this is my first kit and i'm really impressed with it it's pretty lightweight um as you can see here the uh the battery compartment is the strap style uh we also have the, uh you know the cnc chassis um as you can see and um you know seeing it in person is you know i don't think the camera does it justice but um, I mean, you know, I'm doing the best I can to kind of show you guys, you know, what it looks like. And, uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing, um, buggy, you know, even like the movement, it's just very fluid and, you know, the suspension is pretty fluid and everything too. That's pretty much it guys. You know, I just want to do a quick video, um, to show you guys what it looks like and, you know, kind of just talk about the bill. Like I said, the bill was pretty, uh, pretty easy. Uh, like I said, shout out to uh, Ift's uh, Tech Corner. Definitely check him out if you're having issues going through the guide. He he does a really good job at helping uh, go through all the different sections of the vehicle. And this thing looks amazing. I cannot wait to get it out.
on the track and try it out. So if you guys have found this video to be helpful and if you guys are trying to decide whether you should get one or not, um, just based off my first impressions, um, of course, uh, I haven't finished it yet, but just from the build quality, quality alone, it definitely gets two thumbs up and I can't wait to throw some electronics in here and throw some wheels on here. Uh, of course, the battery and all the other electronics and get it out on the track. Uh, I will have a, another video showing what uh, electronics I went with and then I'll have a following video also once I actually get it out on the track and give you guys some feedback on that as well. So if you guys are not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and until next time.